the shop. So last video, my ECU wasn't working. So this is gonna be a ECU repair attempt. So I took it apart. Four screws there, another four screws there. And uh, what you'll see here is these two capacitors. Come on, focus. Come on, focus. Alright, right there, right in the center of the screen. You see that ugly, nasty stuff? What's happened is this capacitor has actually um, leaked and made a mess all over the board. Um, what causes this is a lot of times when capacitors sit and they will leak out uh, the electrolytic fluid that they have in them. Um, and so number one, the capacitors probably doesn't have the capacitance that it's supposed to have, which is messing stuff up. And two, that nasty fluid that's leaked everywhere is possibly shorting something out. Um, I don't see any bad traces on the board, um, but there's a lot of nasty goop on there. So uh, welcome back to the shop. Uh, so the, uh, the camera just uh, died on me. So I'm back. So I've got the uh, two capacitors uh, desoldered. And I'll kind of show you how to use the uh, desoldering uh, wicking strand here. Uh, you can see this stuff right here. It's a, it's basically a, a braided copper. Um, and what you do is uh, cut off the last piece that you used. And you can put it uh, right where you're, um, you want to remove the solder. So case in point right here. Put it right on top put your soldering iron on it and it will basically wick up all the excess solder. Uh, so I desoldered the uh, two capacitors um, and I've got all the uh, excess solder out of the way. The uh, holes are clear. And on closer review it, there's act it was actually two different uh, values of capacitors. Uh, so I went ahead and bought the uh, the right capacitors. So this guy right here, focus. Let me get a pen. You can see the uh, the C203. Um, that's uh, that's a number that has to do with the schematic, so it doesn't actually specify the uh, capacitance value. If you had the data sheet for this board. It would say CO203 and it would give you the capacitance value. Um, so right here you see the little plus. Um, so that's indicating um, you want your positive polarity on that leg and negative would be on that. On your electrolytic capacitors such as these, polarity is important. On other types of capacitors um, it isn't. Um, and this capacitor, C201, is a value of uh, 27, or excuse me, 22 microfarad. So if we see right here, this is a new capacitor I picked up. Uh, if I can get it in the camera. There we go. Focus, 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 focus. Well, just not going to happen. Uh, so it says uh, 22, and then it's a mu F, and so that means uh, 22 microfarads, and then it's uh, rated at 50 volts. And you can see there's a stripe, this uh, whitish stripe, on one leg, and that indicates uh, negative polarity, as well as if you look at the uh, lead length, the uh, shorter one's going to be the negative. Um, so what we're going to want to do um, here is the 22 microfarad. This guy is going to go in the board. Positive polarity right there. Stick it in the board. All right. Flip it over. solder <clears throat> you know 
always want to use just enough solder. Um, sometimes more is less. You don't want to goop it on there. You just want a good connection. Boom. Soldered. Here you can see uh, the lead sticking out. I'll just cut those off with a pair of side cutters. Alright. So uh, the 22 microfarad capacitor is done. Now we'll do the, uh, the 100 microfarad capacitor. So once again, as indicated on the board, positive will be the long lead. Negative is the short lead, and it also has the, uh, the stripe on the side of the capacitor. Stick it through. Turn it over. Dab a solder. Dab a solder. A little more. There we go. And we'll trim off the leads. And that's basically it. Soldered up. Should be ready to go. Hopefully uh, nothing else is wrong with it. The uh, third capacitor over here is a 47 microfarad capacitor rated at 50 volts. Uh, it doesn't appear to be leaking yet. Um, and I don't have any. Um, otherwise I would go ahead and just uh, replace it as a precautionary. Um, so that will be on my to-do list. Um, but, uh, there we go. Yeah, she's fixed. I'm going to put it back together and, uh, put it back on my engine test stand and hopefully she will be a go. So I got the uh, ECU back installed on my uh, test stand and check engine light right here. She works and uh, even works with the, uh, the scanner over uh, OVD2 so uh, we're good to go. Alright, I hope uh, this helps somebody out. If you have any questions, I'd love to see them in the comments.